Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today I am bringing you a very special geek unboxing, and that is from Hasbro's Legend series. This is every geek stream right now, the Infinity Gauntlet. So this Infinity Gauntlet is the one you've been seeing a lot right now. It is completely sold out pretty much everywhere. I got it from Target uh, literally the day before it sold out from them. Sold out at Best Buy, sold out on Amazon, sold out everywhere. It's going for like over 200 right now because of just the rarity of it. But this does cost a normal retail of $100. And as you can see, it might be a little big. That's, this is my head. This is my hand. I just, you know, yeah. Uh, so it's going to be really ridiculous. It makes some really loud sound effects. Uh, we'll probably have to put some batteries in and test it out. But let's go ahead, unbox this big thing and just check out how ridiculous it really is. Okay, Jesus. And this is basically what is required now at every man cave known to man. Uh, if you do not have this, your man cave is now incomplete, just so you know. So really freaking ridiculous. Get this. That's why you always keep the box cutter handy with you in an unboxing. So if there's other stuff that you have to get out of the way, you have the ability to do so. Can't even fit in the frame. It's so ridiculous. So, oh, my wife is going to be so upset. I feel like I should do a video of showing this to my wife and just seeing how upset she gets. So the crazy part about this is you actually have uh, things inside of here you can actually grip and actually see that you can actually pull them to actually have the ability to use them as your actual fingers. So here we go. And the thumb is kind of harder to get. I'm not sure if you're supposed to wrap around. Ah, and they lock into place too so you can have it basically uh, stay like this, so if you just want to hit the hardest punch ever in life, uh, you can do that. I'm not sure how to undo that. Oh, maybe it's here. There's a release thing here. Not sure how it works. This is why you always want to read the instructions. But, yeah. Alright, so I am going to pop this thing open. I think it's under here. Yeah. So under here is the battery bay. So we're gonna pop this thing open, read the instructions and see where are all of these stones. The really crazy part is, is that I swear the yellow is the mine stone, right? So why would that one be the biggest? I feel like the soul stone, the one we don't know where it is should be in the middle, but we'll have to wait and see uh, when Infinity War comes out. Yes, I am seeing it up at night. And yes, we are doing the movie review tonight, so. Should be a lot of fun. All right, guys, so we got it all set up now and figured it out. So um, the big thing about this is you have heard it might have been a little bit annoying just because anytime you move the glove, it will sound off uh, unless it's on display mode. So display mode is this mode where basically you have the glove closed so it doesn't make any noises when the fingers move. However, you can either push this button or take it off of display mode by moving this up or down. So right now we're gonna move it up. And it activated. So it really is like very like, every time you move. I wish there was a way just to put the lights on and not the sound effects. Let me know what you guys think. Overall though, this is just an amazing thing just to keep in the house, in again, your uh, man cave, geek cave, whatever you have. It is just so awesome to have this. Just being able to basically just have this on display is really awesome. And again, if you want to, you can just push this button to activate the lights as well. So overall, I really like it. I think for display purposes, it's really good. It's definitely not something you're gonna always be walking around with. Although, I mean, you know, why not at some times? 
I like just like posing like, you know, like this. And it's just like a ridiculously large hand. It's really awesome. So overall, I do like it. I just wish that you could take off the sound effects maybe even muffle them. Maybe I'll try doing that, like put some tape over just that part so it's not as loud. But overall, I just love the way the lights look and the style. It just, it really does look awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, again, how I would set it up is on display mode and just have it like this anytime someone comes over. Let me know you guys thoughts. Uh, thank you as always for watching. Let me know, are you gonna see Infinity War this weekend? I literally have two times I'm already seeing it this weekend, so hopefully it's good and worth the wait of 10 years. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.